Okay, so in this video, I want to show you how to append an Excel form report. So I've done a video previously on the Excel form report. This was introduced a couple years ago, around about uh, 2019, 2018. What I want to show you today is how to do a multiple part report, which will append a customized Excel template. So I'll show you my template. So here's a, a, a simple template I made up just for this demo. I'll have eight dimensions total and four part total. So I'll run my program in a loop to show you how this template will be appended with each execution of my program. Okay, so the other thing you need to know is where to put this template. So PCDMS comes loaded with uh, pre-made templates, but if you wanna include your own Excel template in this uh, tool, you need to put it in the right folder. So I'll show you where to find that. So you can see the path where PCDMS has put it. They've put it in the users, public, public documents section of uh, your computer. And you can see here, I have several versions of PCDMS installed. So if you go to the one you're using, I'm using the new 2020 R1. So let's open that. And you can see there's a folder called Excel form report. So if we open that up, you can see the template folder. And there's all the preloaded ones, and you can see mine called cmmxyz.xlsx. So by putting my template in this folder, I have access to it inside of PCDMS. Okay, so here's my program. I just have two features with two dimensions, um, x, y, z, and diameter for each circle. So I just keep it real simple. And I've just made my program run in a loop to simulate running four parts. So I've done a few other things in my program. I have um, a, a variable for the date. So it'll insert the date in a field of my choosing and I'll get to that in a moment. I also have two trace fields. Um, one including the variable for the date and the other one will be a prompt for the operator to choose their name from a drop down list. So both of those will be plugged into my Excel form. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is actually set up our Excel form report command. Okay, so I'll do that right now. Um, so I'll put it inside the loop after my dimension info is right there. So we find the form report under insert, report command, and Excel form report. Okay, so we have to do a little bit of setup if this is the first time we've used this template. Um, in the template drop-down, you can see some of the preloaded ones, AS9102, five-part study, and so forth. The one I want to use is this one here. Okay, so there's my template. So the first thing I want to do is actually plug in my trace field. So you can see these uh, cells here, part name, CMM operator, date. What I, what I need to do is link that to a trace field or information in my program. For part name, we're just going to give that a right click, refer to, part info, and part name. So the part name will just be plugged into there. CMM operator, my program is actually a trace field. I have two options here. I can drag it uh, from over here and just put it into that field. Or I can right click, refer to, and it'll give me a list of my trace fields here. So in this case, it's the date, which is in the trace field. I'll just give that a click. Okay, so the next we need to uh, work with is row here. So row five in my uh, template, and I need to drag over that information. So dim number will be a counter. So that'll just count in sequential order, dim one through eight in my case, PCD ID. So this PCDMS ID, um, field here I found that when you're appending you need to have this included because I've tried to do an appended report without the PCD ID and it just doesn't work and I'm not exactly sure why so let's just include that next we'll go to nominal we'll just drag that over and the rest so you can see how that works so for an appended report we need to actually drag over the measured value field for each part in my Excel template.
<clears throat> so I don't just do this once I have to do this for every time I want to append the execution of my program so the next step is important I need to highlight this row here the entire row right click and I need to set this as a data area so when I do that it'll turn yellow so that's very important this will not work unless I do that Another very important thing that is different from the normal Excel form report, because this is being appended, I need to go to report settings down here on the lower left. And for my part name, I can't have a name that will be different with each execution. So in other words, if I include a time um, in the name of the report, like you can see down here, every time I run my execution, the part name will be different so that won't work for appended so this is very important so all you do is simply um, hit the drop down and remove anything that will make it different so to keep it simple I'll just make it part name so my part name needs to be the same which it will be every time I execute my program the next thing we can do in report settings is set the location so I'll just keep it simple put it on my desktop I have a folder called inspection reports where the completed appended report will go okay so that's it for here I'll just click OK and I will create my command line now just by hitting create here that's it so you can see it's uh, down here um, one of the last commands of my uh, program so that's also important this command line needs to be after my dimensions if it's before my dimensions it won't work so let's scroll to the top of my program so you can see I've called my part name Excel form report 2 I, I was doing some testing earlier so I'll just keep it simple and call it uh, Excel form report that will be the name of my file that generates in that inspection report folder Okay, so let's run this and uh, we'll see if this works. Okay, so this is um, just part of my program. Because I'm running in a loop, um, I want to give the operator an opportunity to say how many parts am I running. In this case, it will be four, so I'll just enter four. Okay, and this is actually part of the new trace fields that came out a few years ago where we can um, have a drop down for selections. So for um, operator, CMM operator name, I'll enter mine and I'll say OK. And OK to run, yes. So there's part one. And part two. Three. And four. Okay, good. So let's open up my report and see if it worked. Okay, so here's my folder where I keep my inspection reports and you can see it's generated a report. So I'll give that a double click. Good. So it worked. So you can see it worked exactly as I wanted it to. <clears throat> um, obviously all my results are the same because I'm working offline. But um, this is actually quite a breakthrough in uh, PCDMS because a lot of customers have been asking for this. Essentially, up to this point, PCDMS was a one-off reporting software. But using the new Excel form report and the append function, you can now do multi-parts in one report. And it's actually, it's not too difficult to do. Um, a lot of the work is actually in Excel. And then we just set our template inside of PCDMS and we're good to go. Okay, so that's about it. I just want to give a quick tutorial on the append function of Excel form reports because I've been getting a lot of questions about it in the last little while. Well, I hope you found that useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.